And also my stuff is here from the last time. The last eight times we did this. Ooh. What about me and you from yesterday? I got canceled. Um, yeah. The hello and welcome as always, I'm your friendly Dungeon Master Peter. Welcome to our Magic the Gathering on Sunday Fun Days. Uh, whether or not today is Sunday or not, that's for your decision to decide and see. Today we have uh, Travis the On Demand at the head of the table and Mike Stevens money rolling dice cards. I've got money rolls. There we go. I haven't yeah, there you haven't go. done an <laughs> intro for you in a while. Uh, so yeah, so enjoy, have fun. Um, I'm running as always, uh, Mrs. Bumbleflower, Big Judy Booty. Who are you running today, Mike? I am running Ulek, the Fused Acro City. He has Devoid, and whenever I cast an Elf, we, we, we don't need the whole thing. Just say the commander. Yeah, we're, we're good off right, of that. Fine, fine. You know what? And I, I was just so happy about him because he just looks so good. <laughs> He's so <a> money one. <laughs> and I am playing Altair Ibn Nod. Because right. uh, this is what money buys. Here, let me see that. <laughs> there, there you go. It's the uh, thing thing there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Seven. Five. Five. Perfect. I will go first. Luckily, we don't have to yell because the mic's literally right here. Uh, ah. Untap up control. <laughs> Fucker. I was about to say, who is yelling? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna cast uh, Bushlands in the battlefield like the way it is, P to T. Alright. Draw a Reliquary Tower and pass the turn. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play Shattered Landscape and crack it immediately. Go ahead. Untap up, keep draw. Uh, we're gonna do a Plains tap 2 for Arcane Signet. Uh, other than that, P the T. Then draw. And do Tectonic Edge, then tap 2 for the Talisman of Resilience. And then P the T. Mm, it's very resilient. Mm -hmm. What does the Talisman do? Uh, adds a colorless or adds a swamp or a force and then does one damage to me. Gotcha. And Peter, your thing is, was the Arcane Signet? Yep. Okay. Do you want me to tell you what it does? No. Nope. You sure? <laughs> yep. Positive? Yep. Okay. Because I'm going to forget it anyway. Probably. Uh, one day we'll figure out some little better camera angles, but until this that happens, enjoy us. And I'm going to turn off that sure. light back there. As I shuffle Travis's deck and making sure all the lands come, and it's just land after land after land. No, I got enough lands. No, nope, you're going to get more lands. I... Today's episode is brought to you by... Pumpkin. <laughs> Everything <laughs> pumpkin. Everything gets a pumpkin. Pumpkin oh, colored well, cards. Land, right? <laughs> pumpkin flavored drinks. Oh, Everything matter. pumpkin. <laughs> Put nightmares pumpkin on spice lattes. <laughs> and, okay, cool, cool. All right, I will untap. I will draw. Peter, it wasn't a land, and you're gonna be so mad. Tiny bones. Tiny bones. Your turn. Um, He's gonna untap, be upkeep, draw. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically uh, him. We're going to have breeding pool come untap, so I lose two life. I tap four to cast my commander. P to T. Untap, draw. First blood on myself, you. Mm. We do battlefield forge. And we're going to tap two for my Idol of Oblivion. And then pass the turn. It's like all set up. Untap. Yep. Draw. <laughs> all I need is one more, though, for my commander. Ooh. I will play Brotherhood Headquarters as my land for the turn. I will tap the three. Brotherhood will count as the plane since I will be casting my commander. Which is an assassin. Exactly, <gasps> boo. And uh, now I will be going to combat. I will start on the left and attack Peter for one. Wow. With that touch. <laughs> okay. You don't have a graveyard, so I can't do anything. Nope. You're go. <laughs> I also don't have permanence in my graveyard. Yeah, I know. Untap up, keep draw. 
One day you will. But one... your graveyard is permanent. But he can't cast <laughs> my graveyard. Uh, I'll go ahead and tap one, two, three. Um, and we will go ahead and put Behemoth Sledge. Uh, whenever I cast a spell, I gotta have someone draw a card. Um, Mike, go ahead and draw a card. We'll do it that way. Yay. Um, Bumble Flower will go up to a 2 7 with a flying counter on her. Just for the turn. Uh, my land for turn would be Simic Growth Chamber, and I'll go ahead and bounce the plane back to my hand. It's a pretty plain move. It is. Um, and then I'll go ahead and move to combat, and I'll turn the flavor, the flavor back to Travis with Pumpkin Spice Booty Tail uh, for two commander damage in the air. I see your plumpkin damage, and I raise you a Plumpkin Spice Tootsie Roll, uh, and I accept the damage. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, that means we get to take a spell. Yeah. <laughs> P to T. I'll take that big booty beach. No, <laughs> my big booty duty. It was two uh, damage. Brought to you, two damage right? Yeah, yeah. Brought yeah. to you by uh, Dungeons and Doms. I will play my Cursed Goose in the Forest, and then I'm going to tap five colors for my commander, Ulek. 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 And then I will pass the turn. And uh, can you remind me of the power of toughness? Two five. Thank you. Yeah. Untap. I will draw. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting card to draw. Um. I'm gonna play a planes for the turn. Let's. I'm going to move to combat. I attacked for you last time, so I will attack you with tiny bones this time. And I'll block with Ulek. Okay. They trade. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if it's out of spite that you blocked it and decided to go, no, fuck you, tiny bones. I have to. This way, all I figured in that interaction was you big giant monster and Tiny Bones just goes da, 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 and you all go right. stomp on it and just poison. He's not technically I, big and giant. Just I will cast combined. Generous Plunderer uh, and then I will also tap two and then I will cast a Zulu Port Cutthroat. What does your other, the first one do? Sure. It's a 2-2 two, two Menace. At the beginning of my upkeep, I may create a treasure token. When I do, an opponent creates a tapped treasure token. Then whenever a generous plunderer attacks, it deals damage to defending player equal to the number of artifacts they control. Oh, nice. It's going to get my treasure tokens out and ready in case that comes my way. And... Yes, I did play a land for the turn, so I will P the T. Alright. Untap, upkeep, draw. Um, we'll go ahead and play a planes for the turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and tap three to equip Behemoth Sledge onto my commander. It's now a 4 8 with Trample and Lifelink. I will go ahead, tap two for on the trail. Whenever I draw my second card each turn, I may put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. Tapped. Um, since I play enchantment, Big Booty Judy will go up to a 5 9. And Travis, you get to draw the card since I had Mike draw last time. Um, we'll go ahead and move to combat. Mike, you get a 5 9 in the air since I did attack Travis last time. And it is Commander. And then I'll gain five. One, two, three, four, five. And P the T. And tap up, keep draw. I'll play Mountain. I will then tap all six. To play Ugin, the inevitable. 
Oh, shit. Already? Yeah. And then... Wait, he's only six. I said, oh, no, I'm thinking of a different one. You're thinking of the other... You know, yeah, the one I have. The eight. The yeah, spirit yeah. dragon. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Alright, we're going to plus one them to exile the top card of my library. Face down and look at it. Create a 2 2 colorless spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, I put the exiled card into my hand. So, this is a 2 2, and when the spirit goes bye bye, that card goes into my hand. And then, P the Tiki. Okay. I will untap and I will draw. Oh, shoot. I forgot to do I do. Yeah. <laughs> I will place Cinder Barons as my land for the turn. It enters tapped. And the question is, what do I want to do? Sit back and relax? Uh, Until someone attacks you? I mean, you got some instances in there that would work more beneficial if you sit back and relax. Instances, yeah, but I would like to probably use something. So, I'm going to move to combat. Uh, since I attacked Mike last, I will be going to combat on Peter. Since I skipped my upkeep for this, that, oh well, it, it is a main, so doesn't hurt too much. I will attack Peter with a 2-2 two -two Menace in which it has some attack trigger. Uh, I only have one creature, so I cannot block it. Um, on the attack trigger, uh, you take a damage for each artifact you control. Uh, which is 1-2. And then it's 2 damage in total. 1-2. And that's gonna be it. Man, I gained a total of 1 life. <laughs> <laughs> That whole time. I should have just went up one. <laughs> Tab up, keep, draw. Um, I'll go ahead and play Temple of Mystery and it's Battlefield Tap, scry one. Um, I'll go ahead and put it on the bottom. Next. I will let's see if I have enough. Two, nope. Uh, I think for this time that'd be fine. I'm going to tap four. Actually, yeah. I'm going to tap four to cast uh, Alex uh, Audrania, the Dr Sky Dreamer. Whenever I draw a second card each turn, I create a 2 2 blue Drake creature token with flying. Do you have your Drake Spider Ray? Um. I can get them. I can get tricks. I appreciate it. Um, I do a cast trigger. Mike, I'm going to have you draw this time since I had Travis draw last time. Um, perfect. Unfortunately, I'm not... Two, two tricks? Uh, yeah, I just need one. Oh, perfect. I'm going to just keep that over here in case that he stays around until my next turn. Um, I will go ahead and move to combat, and I'll attack Ugin with a 6-10 Flying Trample Lifelink Vigilance. Yeah, too bad my spirit is not a fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, gotta say, is kind of odd. Right? Yeah. A spirit? Yeah. It's very odd that it's not. Yep. Uh, and then, unfortunately, other than that, PZT. Untap, upkeep, draw. So, I, I told Dom um, if he wanted uh, to use the Hydras I was getting, 
I told him he would have to leave his wife for two weeks and undergo heavy magic gathering training if he wants to see those cars. Does he have what it takes? Is he temple? <laughs> his response was, brother, I barely have two hours alone, <laughs> let alone two weeks. I'm like, that's fair, that's fair. Work, school, and a wife does take up all his time. But he's bettering himself. And we love that. We support that. And I'm here. I was going to be his teacher. <laughs> mm, this is going to be difficult to decide what the heck to do here. Funny enough, Don was just going to have to come to work with me and do, do the job at my place with me. <laughs> and then on the downtime, I give him the magic training. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to tap three. Two for my Eldrazi Temple and a Mountain. For my Eldrazi Linebreaker. He has Devoid and Trample. At beginning of combat on my turn, a target creature I control gains haste and gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the number of Eldrazi's that I control. Woo! Yeah. Okay. And then... We will do uh, We'll tap my Curse Pleasing Force that deals one damage to me for Force to cast my Ancient Steerings. So I get a lot, get the top five cards in my library, reveal a colorless card from among them, and put it in my hand, and then put the rest on the bottom. Five. I'm going to return Ugin's Binding yeah. into my hand. Yes. Did that get milled? No, the five. I get to look at the top five oh, and okay, then put the rest okay. on the bottom of my library in any order. That works. In any order. And then yeah. goes to shuffle. Yeah. yeah, I don't really care because gotcha. it's at the bottom. I'll I guess, do a randomness on that one. I guess I'm like the kind of person that's like, I don't care if I've got two thousand cards in my deck. I'm gonna put these three cards in a specific order, if it says that. Yeah. All right, and then I will pee the tea. Okay, because I gotta. Figure out another game plan now. All right, because I peed her. I didn't do anything. <laughs> on my you got upkeep. rid of my planeswalker. You gave me my tokens that actually allowed me to draw cards. You knew that was going to happen, though. <laughs> on my upkeep, I have a trigger since I have not remembered. Uh, I will choose to create a treasure token, and Peter, you may have a tapped treasure token. Oh yeah. All right, then I will draw. What's the power and toughness of that creature that just came out? A 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. In the beginning of combat, he'll be a 4-3 if I just admit, give him a plus 1 plus 0, or maybe my spirit could be a 3-2. Mm. Gotcha. Tap four, and we're gonna cast Gonti, Lord of Luxury. <laughs> why? Why are you looking at me? Buddy? Where's that going, my guy? Uh, well, uh, it depends. Does it hit, does it resolve? Oh yeah, because I mana up. 
Um, I'm gonna pass priority. Nope. Okay, so on the yeah, ET, yeah. on the ETB, uh, because I gave you a treasure, I shall now look. I shall now target you with its ability. Hmm. So, mm. You really want to go there? Yeah, because I'm gonna be attacking him. So I'll. I'll you, know, you can attack me and then uh, do it to his. Yeah, yeah so but you always be... bring such lovely gifts. I want some. I want to be able to give gifts <laughs> okay. too. Cool, cool. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking murder you. <laughs> four, right? Uh, top four. Top yeah. four. I hope they're all lands. None of them are lands. God damn it! <laughs> Well, kill Gonti as soon as I can. See, this is why you don't choose me. Because you're going to have to read all the cards. But that's fine. Instead of looking at just pretty pictures and going, money, this looks expensive. Done. It's just, you know, it's just not... It pains me to put one of these at the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, no. It pains me to put one of them at the bottom. Yeah? I hope it... I'm glad it pains you. It really does. So, now I'm going to go to combat... Uh, we are going to attack Mike with a 3-3 first strike and a 2-2 in which there is an attack trigger on a uh, generous plunderer. Uh, Altair also triggers, but I have nothing to, that I yeah. can target. So what's the other one? Oh, uh, so this one? Power and toughness. 2-2 two, two menace. Do you do? Mm. Um, so you will lose a life for each artifact that you control. Okay. And then I'll block that one with both of these two. Okay. Uh, three, three, and two, two. So this yep. is going to trade with the two, two. Yay, I finally get this card in my hand. And then you take three commander damage. Now all we need to do is control your commander and then hit you, and you have all of it, Mike. <laughs> and with that, I will go ahead and pee the T. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, we're going to play a force for life for turn. Then we're going to tap... Two, three, and four. We're gonna play the one ring. Um, so Bunny goes off, so she's gonna be a seven, eleven. Um, and then Mike, you get to draw the card since Travis stole one of mine. Um, that's, that's fair. Yeah, so now I have protection from everything to my next turn. Mm -hmm. Um, after that, I will go ahead and tap three to cast Cut a Deal. Each opponent draws a card, then I draw a card for each opponent who drew a card this way. Before you do that, I have triggers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cast trigger, sorry, this is on a stack, cast trigger, cast trigger, well, soon to be cast triggers. Um, but this would be the only first one. Uh, an opponent gets to draw a card and then I put one one counter on it. If it's the second time this resolves, I can draw two cards. Um, which I'm assuming it does resolve. Um, 8, 12. Mike, you get to draw the card. And then I get to draw two cards. And since it is the second card I drew, uh, both of these will trigger. I will get a 2-2 two -two Drake. And then I get to put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. Which, uh, Copa Vista, but it ends battlefield tap. So, actually, in that case, uh, Seaside still though. Now we go with the actual cut the deal. You both get to draw a card, and then I get to draw two. Okay, here's the card draw. Mm. 
Alright. Um, I'll go ahead and crack a treasure for white and cast breeding pool. Oh, play. Uh, for Valley Quartermaster, whenever one or more other rabbits or birds or mites I control oops, and as battlefield, scry one. Other rabbits, bats, birds, and mice get plus one, plus one. Let's do 913. I was going to give this to you, but. Uh, Alright, so that was. One, two, three, four, five. So I drew five cards this turn. Uh, whenever I draw my fifth card each turn, uh, this guy. Him and Drake's I control gets plus X plus plus into end of turn where X is the number of cards in my hand. Um, but I think I just played. No, I played him last turn, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. have summon. It doesn't have summoning six. Yes. Yeah, so they Drake does, but he doesn't. He'll get a plus four plus four until end of turn, uh, which is fine because it'll just make him a six eight. Alright, um, we're moved to combat. Travis, you're going to get a 913 in the air, and Mike will get a 68 on the ground. Is the 68 vigilant? No. no. I was just. I was just okay, gotcha. Yeah. No, no blood. Okay. I, can't, I cannot block. Right. It's 9? Nine? Yeah, 913 commander. And then I will gain 9 life. And then I will P to T. Alright. I'm tap up to grow. Alright, first things first, I'm gonna play my Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. That was my 2 2 spirit. I get to add two mana and to cast colorless spells. Activate only if I control seven or more lands. I now have seven lands. So, yay. And. We have a tap for two, that taps for two. Yeah, and the hardest thing Mikhail had to go through in life was losing his wife over and over and over again. Yeah. And then losing his turtle form. Yeah. I, I didn't want to. So I'm going to tap with seven to bring out Ululek again. In response? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, in response, I'm going to tap Travis's creatures to convoke. And. Then I'm going to tap three. With a black, dealing one damage to me. Ooh. For my mutated cultist. Yeah, no, he's mutated. Uh, when I cast this spell, remove all counters from up to one target permanent or an opponent. Or opponent. The next spell that I cast this turn costs one less for each counter removed this way. So, Peter, your commander. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair. All your. Yeah, no, no, I'm not so even. How many counters we did? Uh, so I'm going to. It'll be six. Um, six. Because yeah. it's minus a two. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's not. Yeah. The next spell that I cast so, this turn three, costs three. one colorless three. list cast for each counter removed this way. It'll be three, seven. So his next spell costs six less? Yep. I'm guessing it. Damn. Good. I should have actually saved that for my commander. I should have done it the other way, but it's too late for that.
No, we'll just do it this way. Uh, I'm just going to cast my ever flowing chalice and multi kick it three times. Ooh. All right, so now I can tap for three extra mana. Yep. Nice. So. Especially in that type of deck, yeah. Yep. Three extra mana. You reduce my commander and you get. Yeah, that's a good Yep. And get extra good. mana and I got two more creatures. Yeah. So, yeah. Alright. And then moving into. Combat. The one who came out on his turn, so he's gonna. You won't be able to deal damage to him. You. Just as a reminder. <laughs> well, that's okay. My mutated cultist is actually going to you, Travis, and it's going to gain a plus three plus zero, so it is a four three with death touch. I will choose to accept four damage. <laughs> <laughs> and then P to D. Surely get one with like small signs like put up that says protection from everything. <laughs> and then yeah. Y. Take like the mate, the sign, and you flip one thing over. It's like a mini sign that says it. Yeah. And just keep going. So when players like, I have this static ability into my next turn, they just. <laughs> so everyone sees it. Land for the turn. Oh. I will tap four. To cast a spell that I have stolen from... I Blade. hate you! Solemn Simulacrum. Hey! Said robot! E so, as long as it resolves... I got nothing, man. You're tapped. Out. You're tapped besides your colorless. Three colorless. But I, I'm going to assume Solemn and Simulacrum. Yes, it resolves. Thanks. Get a basic land. <laughs> Put it on the back of tapped. And then once I do that, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. Would that be it? Yeah. Alright, untap. Upkeep. Draw. Okay. Oh, before the end of your turn, I'll do burning counter. That's what I want to do. And then untap and then. That would be my second card draw, which would give me a second Drake. And then I can put a land, which would be forced. And then the land for turn would be Kambe Fista. Um, I'm going to tap 2-3. No, you know what? No. Uh, I think I'm just gonna move to combat. Um, uh, Mike, I'm gonna. Oh no, I need because he doesn't have the flying right now. So yeah, I'm gonna need to do it. Damn. <clears throat> yep. Tap three. Uh, Kadama's reach. And then Travis, you can draw for this one. Uh, I'm gonna switch up my for two basic land cards. If you then put one on the your tab and the other in my hand. Uh, we'll do island and island. I'll also lose one life. Due to uh, the One Ring's burden. I don't know. So this one, two, three, four. Five, yep, yep. Uh, we'll move to combat. Since it now has flying, uh, Mike, I'll attack you for five, nine flying. Now yeah, gain five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, other than that, I will pee the tea. And untap, up the row. Oh my god, look, I finally got a swan. <laughs> Didn't have to take all that extra damage. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Alright. Well, I'm going to tap a green and a red. A green I have to take a damage for. And three more colorless. For Titan's Vanguard. Ooh. As this spell is on the stack, I'm going to tap two more. Two more. Yep. I'm casting the Eldrazi spell. So, to copy the spell. Do you have copy tokens? Yep. We got copy tokens. I have shiny copy tokens. Oh. So now, whenever I cast this spell and whenever Titan's Vanguard attacks, I get to put a 1 1 counter on each colorless creature I control. And he has trample. So now that. all my colorless creatures get plus two, plus two, except for these two here. No, they would because of the other one. Oh, it says each colorless, not others. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so I have two seven sevens now. Oh, they're not colorless, though. Yeah, they're devoid. Oh, I forgot. I forgot devoid. D Never yeah. mind, yeah. yeah. Silly Peter. Can't, uh, God, I'm trying to remember the set that that got introduced from. Uh, the agent of Zendikar. From my knowledge, is of uh, of agent of Zendikar. Yeah. I thought it was Battle for. Zendikar. Oh, it might, it might be Battle for Zendikar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Battle for Zendikar because it, because that like. It's also, it also doesn't matter, but I was just more trying to remember. Something because, Zendikar. Yeah. It, I think we both know that, like, it's from the Zendikar, like, a Zendikar set. Yeah. Then I'm going to tap my Idol of Oblivion to draw a card because I created a token. No, you didn't. The game created a token. You didn't. <laughs> and then I'm going to tap one to destroy a target multicolored permanent. <laughs> uh, so while that's on a stack, yeah, I got nothing. Don't worry. If it helps you have the mana to recast it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I tried. Viewers, I tried. Let's get, I got four creatures. Alright, and then... I'm going to... Attack Peter for seven... Which he gets a plus one, plus one, so it'll be eight. And then is, everything else gains a plus one, plus one, two. Is his linebacker gives him linebacker. his... Linebacker. I thought it was and a then plus it's one, plus one, zero. two, three, four, five. So that'll be five more, so he'll be a 13, eight. 13, eight, but With he has trample. trample. Yeah, so I'll just take the 13. And then all these will beef up. One. And then I will P the T. Good thing I gain life. Yeah. Untap, draw, let's go ahead and tap the wandering to put a burning counter on it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We are going to tap one, two, three, four. 
we're going to cast Layla Hassan. Ooh. They have first strike. Ooh. When they ETB and whenever one or more assassins I control deals combat damage to a player, return target his sword card from my graveyard to my hand. I am going to, if it resolves, uh, return Tiny Bones because it's the only legendary thing that's in my graveyard. Uh, I got nothing. You? I got nothing. Okay. So... Tiny bones will go in my hand. And then I'm going to cast for free Excalibur Sword of Eden. Ah, uh, because you line up. Uh, because now I have at minimum 12 mana worth of historic cards on the battlefield. And I will tap two. To equip this to Altair Ibn Laud, I am also going to uh, I'm going to move to combat. And I am going to <sighs> Okay, so honestly the dilemma is what do I think is worse? The fact that Peter's up by twenty two or the fact that you have a lot of credible threats. That is the only thing I'm looking at here. Well what what's scarier? Uh, slightly higher life total, or that—that's what I'm like. Bigger creatures that synergize with each other. That's why I'm like. Well, I gave you your answer. It's just you got to find that answer in what I just said. Hey, 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 hey. L -l -l Listen here. I'm listening. Okay. Well, well, it at least does have vigilance, so I'm okay with that. So. I'm moving to combat. I think this time I'm just not going to do anything. I'm not going to attack with anything. Okay. And I'm just going to pass the turn. Alright, untap. Upkeep. I have upkeep trigger. I'll lose two life. And then draw two cards. Uh, I have draw triggers. I'll get a third Drake, and then I'll put a land from my hand onto the battlefield, which would be a Plains. Uh, then I'll draw for turn. Uh, I'll play Island for turn. And what I will do... Two, three. I will equip one Drake with the In response sludge. to you equipping. Okay. I'm going to tap three. Take a damage for a red. For Kozlik's return. He's gonna deal two damage to each creature. And whenever I cast an Eldrazi creature spell of mana value seven or greater, I may exile him from my graveyard, and if I do, then he deals five damage to each creature. So that would only affect my drakes. Uh, on my side, two things would be affected. Because okay. it's two damage to each, each thing. Yeah. Yep. So, I would have... Uh, I'm passing priority on the spell. I'm passing. Cool. So, two things of mine are going to die. In which I will have two Zulaport Cutthroat triggers. Each opponent is going to lose two, and I'm going to gain two. And then Solemn Sim Simulacrum is going to trigger for me. I will choose to draw the card. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'll tap five uh, to cast Promise of Loyalty. Each player puts a bow count on a creature they control and sacrifice the rest. My Valcount is going to go on my Sky Dreamer. 
My Val counter is going to go on my Titan Vanguard. Mine is going to go on Altair Ibn Mod. Alright, then you sacrifice the rest. Those with Val counters cannot attack me uh, at all. As long as they have the Val counter on them. Next, I'm going to tap one to cast Wizard Class. I have no maximum hand size. Dang it! I will go ahead and tap three to make the Wizard Class go to level two. When it goes to level two, I draw two cards. I will tap one for Soaring. This here. And after that, I will pee the tea. Yeah, I don't have roll. Yeah, promise a loyalty doing a thing every time we play. <laughs> Nano War Weeks. Yeah, it is. Then I'm going to take one damage, take one damage for two force. And then one, two, three, four. To do Rishgar's expertise, I'm going to draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures I control, which is eight. And then I can cast a spell of mana value five or less from my hand without paying its mana cost. Before you do. I have a response. I will tap uh, to Arcane Denial. Counter target spell and control may draw up to two cards at the beginning of the next uh, turn's upkeep. And that's an instant. Yeah. Having you draw eight is a little too much. Yeah. If I can stop no. it. God damn it. Is it sorcery? Yep. Ah. <laughs> it's like, God damn it. It's like, I have a counter spell in here. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hey, Fuck you, Peter. Hey, <laughs> instead of me, you can draw two on Travis's turn. And I have a colorless floating. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm just trying to think. What sorcery yeah. counter spells? Yeah. Do. Maybe something like to protect or whatnot. Three, four, five, six. Oh, nine. Perfect. I have exactly nine. And I will recast my commander. Hey, I will take this as a win that you just recast your commander for the turn. <laughs> and then Titan Vanguard's going to go after Travis. Does it still have... Yep. It only has its plus two, not the other plus two, right? Yep. Okay. Only its plus one, plus one. Okay. So it gets just one. Okay. Because it's never, whenever it attacks. Oh, it gets another one, one? Yeah. So um, if I attacked with both of them, then everything would get plus two, plus two. Oh, got it. Okay. That's why I only gave everything a plus one, plus one, because only one of them attacked. Got it. So what is its power and toughness? Nine, nine, trample. Okay. I will block with the 13, 13 first strike. How the hell does he have 13? I, plus ten, plus ten. Shit, plus I ten, plus ten, ten vigilance. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I'll retract that in. <laughs> There's your one oopsie daisy. Yeah, because what the fuck? <laughs> All right, well, I don't get my plus one, plus one. So, P to T. I will draw. I really need an island, but I don't have a freaking island on anything here. I have every other color but an island. <laughs> Yay! Okay. I will... Do a dance. Make a love. Get down tonight. Da, 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 da. Get down tonight. Da, 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 da. Uh, this is a little bit of a pickle. 
if I'm gonna be honest, but I don't know. Let's start making about? start making some moves. One, two, three. Oh, and on his upkeep, I didn't grab my two. Oh yeah, I get to draw my one. Good thing we Four. didn't move too far after the yeah. upkeep. <laughs> yeah, if he would have fully played the card, I would have said no. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sitting here thinking yeah, things, are good. things are changing. When a cast conspiracy, Ooh. when the ETBs choose a creature type. Bunnies. Thanks, Travis. I'm going to choose assassins. Oh. All of my stuff. Oh, I held up real Eldrazi's. <laughs> so, man, we all need to get our ears yeah. checked or something. Yeah, I guess we gotta. So now all of my stuff are assassins. Yay. Eldrazi's? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Imagine if they actually <laughs> said that and you tried to El like board wipe and like said El Drossi. I was like, okay, hey, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Like, my stuff's cool, man. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to. I'm going to go ahead and tap to add a board encounter. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to. <laughs> Can't attack me? No, no, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. I'm going to attack Mike with a 13 14 first strike. Of course. Which is going to trigger a tear. Uh. I Which will one? exile Layla Hassan with a memory counter. Create a copy of it that's tapped and attacking. This one will attack you. And it's no. going to trigger its enter the battlefield trigger. When it ETBs, uh, return target historic card from my graveyard to my hand. And the only one that's in it is Gonti, Lord of Luxury. It is when it's ETBs you know, or when I it attacks. Can read it. I, no, just, no, I don't want it now. No. Just trying to, okay. <laughs> it is on the ground. It doesn't have a uh, trample. The only thing it has is first strike. No, I'll and go vigilance. ahead and block it with my 2 4. It's gone to go through the hand. Yes. And then I take 13. It means you're dead. Yeah. You don't mm -hmm. want to block? No. Oh, okay. No, because there's literally, without that blue, everything in my hand is blue cast. Uh, right, I guess no it's blue, just me and Travis. No blue, no right. blue. So this gets no blue. sacrificed at the no end of blue. combat. And on my second main it, phase... It would have been six turns later where I could have searched my library for a blue card. God, I'm sorry, man. But yeah. Yeah, I can't That's do fair. crap without a blue. No. Gaunty's four. Gaunty's four. Okay. Yes. I, just want I, can, I can't let me drop my cards. Right. I could have had a damn blue. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm going to tap Cinder Blades for Tiny Boots. Tiny Bones. Tiny Bones. And, and guess what? I could have exiled that for you, too. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and with that, I will stack this treasure. Tap the mountain. But no, that sucks. Like to I, cast Hook Blade. Hook Blade. Uh, when it ETBs, attach it immediately to a creature I control. Which I will choose to have it go to Altair. It'll get a plus one, plus zero, and it will have flying. Woo! As long as it's my turn. So I finally found a weakness go in this deck. Untap. And I need I'll to keep. figure out how the hell did. I'll draw my three that. and take the three. One, two, three. Two, three. Um, that will go ahead and trigger on the trails and my sky guy, Drake. Um, I will put Temple of Plenty from my on the trail uh, scry. Um, I'll go ahead and put this on the bottom. Uh, next, I'll go ahead and draw for turn. Um, land for turn will be Temple of the False God. All right. So I'm going to have to find a sneaky way to get around all that fun stuff. Well, you've got the mana. I do. But same time. Oh, in case you can't tell. Uh. Stacking dice for fun. No, I, I get it. Uh. See, and this is the thing. It's like, yeah, I got the mana, but do I have all my lands that tap for 
any color were at the bottom. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually including my routine. Clap, Jeez. clap, tap, soul ring. We're gonna play mind crank. All my dudes. Yep. All of it. I mean, I'll take it. Uh, next, we're gonna tap Simic Gross Chamber. Uh, yeah, that was a bad cast Far Seek. I'm gonna search uh, for Mountain and Plains, found Battlefield tapped. So search for four planes. Yeah, actually. I mean, because I mean, you can't get a mountain. <coughs> I can get an island. Oh, I thought you said mountain or. Yeah, I did. But I'm, I think I was waiting for you to say uh, or a island. Which is really because it's uh, it's not forest. It's just plains, islands, swamps, and mountains. I mean, it's a, it's a really good mana fixer f for eighty percent of the mana. <coughs> Dangles is next. Thank you. After that. This box was a skinnier box than the other boxes. It's very weird. Uh, tap six. Sun Titan! Yep. Uh, which I do believe. Fortunately, Silence of Grand is four, but I'll get my Valley Quartermaster. Uh, after that. Four, uh, luminary brood moth, and then I think after that, uh, Drake came out this turn. I think, yeah, came out this turn. You have things up and ready to go. Um, so I think I'm just going to have to pee the tea. Okay. I will untap, I will draw. Land for the turn. I think let us start with cutting Mike's deck <laughs> <laughs> and then casting uh, Gonti, Lord of Luxury. Mm. Oh, look, I had to tighten Spam Garden in the very front right now, too. Could just spin like a good party. Go ahead while you're doing that. I'm going to tap the one ring. I'm just hoping out of that new horror deck that there's like some good like zombie horrors or something. Stuff that will go good with Rexmunder. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be some good stuff. I don't know about zombies. Uh, now I'm going to move to combat. Okay. I'm going to attack all of this, these two, at you. All right. In which I have Altair Dimma Mob Trick. Mm -hmm. So, since all of my stuff are assassins, I will exile Zulaport Cutthroat. Mm -hmm. And then create two... Uh, both of these coming to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get anything on the ETB because I no longer have a historic card in my graveyard. Okay. So that's just what's coming Manhattan. to you. Manhattan. Okay, so let's see. The only permanent I would have is Hall and Signal Akram. In which I have the mana up to okay. cast it if I choose. Um. Uh, 
it menace or anything like that? Uh, just first strike. First strike and vigilance. And that's about it. Yeah. Oh, and flying. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. Other than that, uh, I'll block it with a Drake. Okay. Um. Tiny bones. I'll go ahead and block with my Valley Quartermaster. And I will unblock the other two. Unblock the other two. It's not block. Sorry. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Um. I will tap four. To cast uh, Trash the Town, paying the two spree costs to put two counters on a creature and to give it Trample until end of turn. And to give a creature Trample until end of turn. Uh, my targets for those... I'm going to put two one one uh, counters on tiny bones, and I'm going to give Altair Ibn Law trample into end of turn. All right. Uh, after the targets are declared, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tap two uh, to cast Signet Charm to return target creature to its owner's hand, and I'm going to choose your commander. Okay. There's not much I can do about that. Blue. <laughs> Could have returned everybody's crap. Um, but that means Tiny Bones will still get the two counters because it is trying to do everything that it can. Yeah, it just won't get trample. Yeah, uh, yeah, because Altair was yeah. the one that would have gotten it. Yeah. Alright. Um, damage goes. Damage. Blah. And Tiny Bones will live because that was a 2 3? Yeah, 2 3. Okay. And you took. I'll take four. Yes. One, two, three, four. But then I'll take one from. Is it your creatures or any creatures? Uh, all of. So at the end of combat, all of the uh, copies will get sacrificed, yeah. and both of these. So it's just your creatures. Yeah, it's just my Wait, creatures. Yeah, that, that was a question. My apologies. It's okay. I understand. Words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> they are so hard. I love you, Travis. I love you too, man. And with that, I there's nothing. I else also I can do, do have a death trigger. My valley quarter match will come back with a flying counter. Okay. Due to my luminescent brood moth. Okay. Yeah, you need to get rid of that moth. No, <laughs> get rid of the moth man. Yeah. <laughs> the moth woman. All right. Well, you'll never know which one my commander is. Nope. <laughs> will not. We'll never know. Uh, would that be it? Yeah. By the way, okay. I'm still alive according to the iPad. I know. Yeah. I, I've like been you. staring at that, and it's kind of disturbing. Uh, I'll lose four. One, two, three, four. I'll so the game doesn't one, recognize two, commander damage four. as being lethal. Uh, next, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get a <laughs> second Drake. I was honestly thinking about giving you three life and then taking one and see if that would do it. Uh, so this is we could do that. We could the second easier. Drake. So two, two, but I think, I think once you're declared dead, you're declared dead. Oh, yeah. All right, then I will draw four turn. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, all right so, land for turn. I'm going to play Rogue's Passage. We'll do that. Right. Um, next. Go ahead and do... We'll do this. Just do these three up here and equip the Behemoth Sludge. To my Sun Titan. Yeah. Put you at one. One zero. Yep. <laughs> By the way, I have no interaction for anything you're doing, so that's why I'm just like. Yeah, no, that's why I'm just looking. So it's just seeing like what would be. I ain't know if you can hurry it up so we can play another game here. Over I'm here. trying, <laughs> but I also gotta make sure that I can actually do stuff to him. Um, so what it's I'm called swinging out. Well, I still don't have enough if I swing out at him to kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's two. So then you take the damage from him and then you swing out again. <laughs> Three. 
Will be the command attacks. Go ahead and play my commander. <laughs> or would you rather have an egg? You want an egg instead? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> this might uh, be or in this case, a bunny o. A bunny o. A bunny o. Step two, uh, selfless spirit. Um, I'm going to, so Travis, you're my only target, so you get to draw a card. My Titan will get a plus one, plus one counter, and it will have flying for this turn. After that, go ahead and tap six to play Springs of Enlightenment. Uh, when it ends up, your target opponent will draw a card, and then I'll draw three. Uh, again, Travis, since you're my only target, you'll draw it for Bunny, and then you'll draw another one for Sphinx. I'll put it on my Sun Titan, and then I'll draw five cards. Hey, I'm getting land now. Yay! Um, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to tap two, promise the gift. No, sorry, no, just kidding. Okay, um, we will go ahead and move to combat. Um, flyers that can attack would be 2, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Any flyers? Nope. Uh, so 15 damage coming your way, Travis. Uh, Sun Titan will stay there. Uh, all flying. Uh, Sun Titan trigger? Uh, I don't think I have anything. Do you not have lambs in your rear guard? Nope. Uh, sorceries and instances. Um, and Solace in the rack run, but he's four. Yeah. Uh, I'll gain the eight life. And then you will mill 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because of mine crank. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, after that, so main phase two. Right Nothing. After that, uh, P the T. Mm. Alright. Untap. Draw. Uh, I th I could try and fight this, but I think I'm just gonna scoop. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna scoop because I don't, I don't have the stuff that can continue this fight. So. Uh, what could you have done? Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.